Hey, hey guys, Brian Parnell here. Hope you're doing well. So I'm hoping by now you guys know that there is a, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, a page, page speed experience or just page experience. Okay. Um, it's going to really revolve around the core web vitals. Okay. Now, what I want to show you is a plugin that I've been using that really speeds up my websites, okay, and helps with the um, page experience. However, I also want to show you just a little something that I'm not sure very many people know about, okay, um, and it's a built in Google tool and the results well let's just let's just go in let's just go in and um, so I'm in incognito I'm just going to go into um, my website okay now what you do to do to find this tool is you right click inspect then you come over to this little um, arrow over up here and you come to lighthouse okay now you don't need to do the SEO but I'm going to keep it clicked all the SEO checks is to make sure that you've got title title tag description meta keywords h1 tag um, now it's the mobile that's most important but you need to do this twice okay so if you click on generate report all right and it goes off and it does various uh, various checks okay and then within these checks, it comes and looks at the LCP, which is the largest content contentful paint, I believe. Um, interactivity, first input delay, visual stability, which is the CLS or the cumulative layout shift, which is basically if you're on a mobile and you've got things on your page that move, when it's loading, Google doesn't like that, okay? Because a user doesn't like that. So, as you can see, my performance is only 64. Speed index, so the speed's pretty cruddy. Um, largest contentful paint, LCP, is 3.8. The cumulative layout shift, which I, I get this error on a few of my um, websites, and if you put, if you want to see how you know what Google thinks of this and you're not worried about using Google Search Console then that you know, all of this kind of stuff shows within there but uh, this is the you know great way to test to make sure you fixed it um, and then you've got time so we're looking for content first content paint that's that's not that's not too bad um, so anyway so anyway you want this score as a as a green okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna turn on the plugin now it's free but only for a certain number of page views um, a month and then it, it is a paid tool but the beauty of this is that I know a lot of you are agencies you can actually become a reseller of this tool um, and basically Google's doing the selling for you so you can you know Google is saying you've got this is what you've got to do so um, you know you've, you've got to do it um, now what I'm going to do is I've turned it on on my other screen okay and now I'm going to close that I'm going to click on refresh I'm actually going to refresh it a couple times just so um, I'm happy. And there we go. So what, what, I'll just I'll do this again. Okay. So this is my web, you know, my old business website that um, I don't do anything really, really anymore. Of my, it's it's had a lot of negative SEO done to it, um, and every time I get it to rank on the first page, somebody negative SEOs it. Um, I don't I don't know what you know. So I. And I'm not taking new marketing clients on at the moment anyway. Um, taking because I, I do more coaching to marketing agencies as you as you know. But anyway, um, 
So we, you go to your page, you right click, click on inspect, and then you come over to the arrow, click on lighthouse, okay, and then you click on, make sure you're on mobile, and then obviously you wanna do both, but mobile is most important because Google is mobile first. So if, if you've got to pass mobile before anything else, it takes a little while, but you know, lots of people do not know about this lighthouse tool. Okay, so the performance is, looks like it's got worse. Um, but that's because the the caching plugin uh, thing has only just um, has only just been turned on. It's going in and it's processing lots of the pages in the background. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause just for um, um, actually let's just let's just do one one more refresh. Let's let's actually open another instance of um what's it called incognito let's go to that website again quick sip of water click on inspect so right click click on inspect come up to this performance click on lighthouse generate report Boom. Now we're up at 100. Can you see that? Okay. Just with one simple plugin, everything is fixed. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm that is pretty astonishing. Now, it doesn't happen like this every single time. Okay. Um, I don't know what this accessibility is. Um, okay. So these are good little things because there's other things that you can look at and you know just improve what Google wants you to improve. But from our perspective, this here now, as long as it's green, and I think anything 91 and above or 90 and above is green, okay? Perfect, absolutely perfect. I'm over the moon with that, right? And that's just with one plugin, okay? So what what is this plugin? The plugin is Nitro Pack. I'm just going to go into the background, okay? And you can see it's processing pages in the background. That's why, because I, when I turned it back on, I purged the cache. Um, now I don't do. I'm using the free one on this actual website because this is a website that um, you know I'm not overly bothered about. But on my clients' websites, I'm um, you know I they they pay for the um, you know the monthly the monthly whatever it is i can't remember it's like 9.99 29.99 and obviously the more page views they get um the better the more expensive it is so uh, you know i've got some smaller clients whom you know really they only get about a thousand visitors a month okay because they're in a they're in a very tiny area um so that's you know that five thousand is sufficient but um my, I would say, my small to medium sized customers, this isn't sufficient. They have to pay for the, you know, for the plans. Um, so if I click on so 17, 17 bucks a month, okay, all the way up. But as I said, you can become a reseller, okay, and make money from this. Now, I do get a very small commission um, if you, you know, go buy through my link. So, you know, I would really appreciate it if you did. Um, but this video is more to show you how you can, you know, use this tool. Um, oh yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. Sorry, I've gone. Um, so if I come back into into here, I li th these are my settings on every single one of my websites. Okay. Set it to ludicrous. Make obviously you get a, 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 an API that you you know you just click on there and then you have to sign in and you know and that's it. Um, but other than that, I've not done much. 
I've not had any errors or anything. Um, so, but there are loads and loads of YouTube videos that will show you how to, you know, how to use this. And it's not just for WordPress. That's the, that's also a really good, good point. All right. So, okay. I'm going to, um, I'm going to leave it at that. And hopefully this, you know, you find this useful. All the best. Cheers for now.